Performance USA, the greatest entertainers in America, is requested by you, the fighting men of the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command Performance, presented this week and every week, till it's over, over there. Okay there, gang, we're saddling up and hitting the old Command Performance trail that leads to all AEF battlefronts and battle stations around the earth to spend a half hour with every one of you fighting men and women of the United Nations. Your big show, presented by the Special Service Division of the War Department, makes tracks out of the USA, led by that lad with the upturned nose whose name turns up in thousands of your letters to command performance, that head man of the AEF Giggle Factory, old high horn himself, Bob Hope. Thank you, fellas. This is Bob Command Performance Hope telling you guys out there that if we all dig in and plant our victory gardens, we'll soon catch the axis with our plants down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, I've got a wonderful victory garden in my backyard. The soil is so fertile. The soil is so fertile, it doesn't wait for me to plant it. Every morning, it knocks on my door and says, well, what have you got for me today? <laughs> And I want to tell you, my garden is coming along fine. Some of the corn is almost up to the weeds. <laughs> and I know I'm going to be very popular with my victory garden. I no sooner got it started than 3,000 bugs lined up with their ration books. <laughs> my girl helps me with my garden. She's wonderful. She's got big buck teeth. She's the only girl I know that can carry on a conversation and hold the garden at the same time. <laughs> Well, let me tell you that spring here in Hollywood is wonderful. Ah, spring, Mother Nature has united all her children. The birds, the flowers, the bees, the trees, they're all one. Everything else is 1A. <laughs> spring in nature, it's wonderful. I asked my little nephew if he knew about the birds and the bees, and he said, sure, I know all about the bees and their honey and the birds and their honey and the cats and their honey. I said, wait a minute, cats don't have any honey. He said, then why does ours stay out all night? <laughs> But this spring weather really makes you lazy. This morning, a blonde walked down the street, and I closed my eyes, and I imagined I was chasing her. <laughs> and my brother's so lazy, God bless you, my brother's so lazy, my brother's so lazy, he just holds a toothbrush in front of him and watches a tennis match. <laughs> But believe me, this year, with the war going on, things in Hollywood are really different. Last week, there was a baby born out of Lockheed. He wanted to be near his mother. But the... <laughs> but the women out here have been wonderful. They're giving up silk stockings, long skir skirts. The girls are even taking the rubber out of their girdles. Now they're all out for defense. And believe me... <laughs> and believe me, it's no snap. But this girdle business even affects... The... <laughs> Want to work on that a while? <laughs> but this girdle business even affects the sailors down in San Diego. They're waiting for shapes that never come in. And fellows, <laughs> and fellows, they got a new regulation for women now. They say that women in war industries can't wear sweaters anymore. But I don't care. I've got a good memory. <laughs> I, anyway, now to the more serious business at hand. You know, poor old Sam, the command performance mailman, started walking on stage and slipped down a banana peel. It took a load off his feet, but leaves us to pick up letters from Corporal Jimmy Lodge in North Africa... From Art Morrow at 980, from Dr. Leo Disraeli at Navy 212, the gang at 24, Don Garrett and Adolph Friedman at 927, and from Yankee Doodle Pithy and over there in Bristol, England. Tucked into all this mail like a notice from Morgenthau is a note from an Australian on Lord Howe Island. And he says, Lord, how you Americans have murdered that lovely song, The Curse of an Aching Heart. Please get your best baritone to sing it for us, and with no monkey business either. Okay, Aussie, here's one of America's finest baritones, Lee Sweetland and The Curse of an Aching Heart. No monkey business, Lee. There you are, Lee. You made me think you cared for me, and I believed in you. You told me things you never meant, and made me think. I gambled in the game of love I played my heart and lost I'm now a wreck of heart 
on life's sea. Alone I pay the cost. You made me what I am today. I hope you're satisfied. You drag and drag me down until my soul within me dies. You've shattered each and every dream. You pulled me from the start. And though you're not true, may God bless you. That's the curse of Thank you, Lee Sweetland. You know, Jerry Colonna sings that number, too. <laughs> the only difference is when you sing it, a lot of you goes into it, and when Colonna sings it, it takes a lot out of you. <laughs> but, fellas, get a load of this next letter, signed by Private Speed Tinsley and the Artillery Gang at 948. Dear Command, we have been beating our widow heads against the wall. Who wrote this, Tinsley or Red Skelton? Who did that? <laughs> anyway, we've been beating our widow heads and hoping you'd give us that crack train... The daylight highballing through Glendale, California with that big electric horn wide open. Okay, Speed, and you guys at 948, here's the daylight rolling through Glendale and heading for Los Angeles. There goes the daylight. And now all you Easterners, watch out for here comes the 20th Century Limited. Speed also asks us to imitate the call of the gray sea otter during the molting season, but out of the otter has the no disturbed sign out. Well, gang, a lot of you ask command performance for your favorite songs, and I know I really should sing more than I do, <clears throat> but uh, you know how it is. They make me introduce train whistles and tell jokes. Fundamentally, I'm not a comedian. I took up comedy as a hobby and because I like to eat, too, but my real... <laughs> my real talent lies in the field of music, and tonight I go back to the field. <laughs> What a thrill. All over the world, the radio is turned on, Hope turns on the voice, and Crosby turns off the radio. 